Hi, in this session I'll show you how to create a photo montage effect. So basically a montage is a collection or kind of a piece together of different photos, but in this case it's going to be one, one photo, one image that is pieced together and it looks like they're separate. So what I mean by that, let's, let's look at an example. So here's an example of one image, but it looks like it's pieced together from different frames or different f um, photo images that are wrapped around a frame. So I'll show you how to do this particular effect and let me go ahead and escape out of the slideshow view and start it off. So I'm going to go into my next slide where I have my image. This is basically an image I sourced out of uh, Microsoft. Let me go ahead and pull in my slide view here. Now this image, what I want to do is I want to first create these frames and I'm going to place four frames on this picture and then I'm going to crop them out and then replace them on this, on this picture and delete this picture to kind of see how it looks in place. So let's look at how we create these frames. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this rectangle shape and draw a frame. I'm going to go ahead and draw a frame here. Let's see, I think that's a good size. And what I want to do now is I want to duplicate this frame. So all I need to do, it's selected already, just press Control D to duplicate that. And now I want to kind of make this smaller, probably about 10% smaller. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to press the Shift key while I move one of these corners. It's going to resize it in proportion. So basically, uh, it won't make it too wide or too thin. It's going to kind of proportionize it, <laughs> if that is a word. So about 10% is probably like that. So I'm going to go move it into place here and see if it fits. Uh, let's see. How does it look? Well, I think I want to, do, want to do it a little bit more. So I'm going to go and press the Shift key and move that corner down a little bit more. And then now kind of move this. And what I can do is I can use the uh, arrow keys uh, with the control key and kind of fine tune it a little bit. So let's see how that looks. I probably want to make this, the end, the sides here a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just, I'm not going to use the shift key. I'm just going to go ahead and just make this a little bit smaller. Move that over. And now I'm going to move this, use the arrow keys and see how that fits. So that looks okay. I mean, that that's a, that looks like an okay frame. Let me just press control and then the arrow key to f move. Oops, control Z to undo. Let me go ahead and just move it a little bit. Maybe that would be okay. I think that's all right now. So now what I want to do is I want to get the white border here. So what I'm going to do is since this image is all blue, I'm just going to make the I'm going to make this one in the back, the bigger rectangle, I'll make that all white. So I'm going to right click and click on the shape fill and make that white. So now I've got a shape. So basically this is not an image. And I want to the next step I want to do is I want to edit this image. I want to turn this into an image. Right now it's just a, an object. And you can tell by it because when I click on the format here in the drawing tools, it lets me have these particular commands that are for objects, like a drawing object. I want to turn this into an image. So I'm going to do I'm going to select I'm going to select this image. I'm going to press control X to cut it. Then I'm going to right click and then paste it and I paste it as a picture. So now why well, actually there's one more thing I want to do. Let me go control control Z to undo. Let me bring that back. I want to have these borders black. So I'm going to go ahead and click on anyone first. I'm going to click on that one, right click and have that border, maybe a gray. Maybe I'll do it a dark gray here. And then I'll do the outside border, right click and make that gray too, the shape outline, make that gray. Now I can select this. I can just kind of go out here, left mouse click and just drag and it'll select both of these images. Press Control X to cut and right click and then insert or, or paste as a picture. So now it's a, just a picture now. So what I can do now is I can edit this picture. If you notice right now, the format has picture tools instead of drawing tools. I'm going to the format, click the format tab, and now you can see the commands here are different. What I want to do is go under color and then set the transparent color. So I click that. I'm going to sec select this color to be transparent. So anything that's behind it is going to come through. So when I click on that, now that is a transparent color. So basically now I've got my frame and I want to duplicate this frame now. So I'm going to go ahead and press Control D while it's selected and duplicate it. I'm going to make about three more frames. Control D three times. One, two, three. So now all I need to do is just place my frames and see where I like to have them placed. Now, we, you notice here that there is an invisible frame around this particular image. We probably don't want to 
paste outside of it too much because maybe if you don't have this white background, you have other color background, uh, things might go a little bit wrong when you go ahead and place them. So what I like to do is just kind of select this particular picture, right click it, and give it a f give it a brief frame. So I'm going to go ahead and click Format Picture and do Line Color, Solid Line, just any line. I'm going to just use this as a guide So I don't, because I don't want these to go outside of it. So now I've got my little guide here. I want to have my picture frame stay within there. So I'm going to go ahead and just start to place them. Maybe have this one here, have this one here, this one on top, and this one. I want to get maybe just maybe more of the um, more of the kiwi here. So I've got that right now, and I can just make this disappear now. Just right click on that, right click, and go to format picture, and then for the uh, line color, make that no line. So now it disappears. All right. So now I've got my image here. Now I want to duplicate this slide three times because I'm going to crop each of these frames. So I'm going to I'm going to select this, press Control D three times. One, two, three. Control D. And now what I want to do is I want to for each frame, for each of these slides, I'm going to delete three of the frames. So I'm going to keep this first frame. I'm going to delete this here. Press Delete, Delete, Delete. And then for this one, I'm going to keep the second frame. Press that one, delete, delete, delete. And then here, I'm going to keep the third one. Delete, delete. Whoops, delete, and delete. And then here, I'm going to keep the fifth one. I mean, the fourth one. Delete, delete, and delete. And so I'm going to go back to the first one here. So what I want to do right now is I want to crop this picture. So I'm going to go and click the picture here and go under the Format tab and click the Crop command. Once I click on that, you'll notice that now the lines, I've got these crop mark lines. So what I want to do now is kind of crop them within, to that, within that frame. And I don't want to go down to the edge here because some things might bleed over, the white space might bleed over. So I want to go in between uh, in that border, kind of in between the border. So I think that kind of fits there. And I'm going to bring this one the same here, any kind of in between the border. I see the border there, I'm going there. And then the same with this one, I'm going to go ahead and move in between the border. You can see that the border is right there. And that should be, fit, be it right there. And the same for here. We've got the border in there. So once that's selected, I can just click on Crop again, and it's going to crop the image in here. So you can see that. So what I want to do now is I want to make this all into one image. So the same thing where I did earlier where I uh, control, C to, control X to cut and then uh, paste special as a picture. That's what I'm going to do with this now, because there's basically two pictures, one in front of the other. So I'm going to go and select all this, Control X to cut, and then right click, or I can even just go up there and paste and paste it as a picture. All right? So that now is pasted as a picture. So what I'm going to do right now is, oh, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. You might want to make a, another copy. I'm going to go ahead and make another copy, Control D to copy. And this will be kind of my clean copy, delete that frame. So when I want to move the frames and kind of adjust it into place, I've got a clean copy here. So let me gonna go back here. So the main step here is basically cropping the image within the frame and then cutting and saving and pasting the image back as a picture. Uh, instead of having two pictures, basically it's all one picture right now. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other slides and I'll go ahead and just speed up this video. Okay, now I have cropped all the pictures. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this picture as a template to go ahead and move these in. So I'm going to go up here and just press just Control X to cut, bring it in here. I'm going to kind of hover it over here to see how it fits. All right, and then go here, Control X to cut, and then Control V to paste. And this one goes down here, and then Control X to cut. Control V to paste. This one's going to be over. Let's see, 
right around there. It doesn't have to be too perfect because you probably want to add a little bit of our give you a little artistic license and kind of maybe separate out a little bit depending on how you want to have this viewed. So let me go ahead and do the last one here. Control X to cut, Control V to paste, and let me go ahead and put it over here. Now I'm going to click the image back here because the image is pretty big. So I'm going to go and click here. You can see now that that image is there and just press the delete key. And now I've got this little photo montage. I can also kind of move it out a little bit if I want to. You see if I wanted to kind of give it a little bit of a our artistic license, you know, um, and kind of make it a little bit, a um, little bit kind of out of place. But you can still see that this whole image is compromised of all these little frames. Basically, it's all this one image, but may, maybe there's different windows or different frames into a different view of it. And usually, uh, you might want to give a different background. I'm going to give, give it a black background here so it makes it a little bit more dramatic. So let me go ahead and select black, close. I'll go ahead and delete these. Press delete. And you can see it's a little bit similar to this one, but a little bit different. I've kind of moved things out of place a little bit. Let me go ahead and put it into slideshow view. And you can see how it looks. So this is the way that you can create a photo montage type of an image off of one image. You can do this with different types of pictures and give it kind of an artistic appeal. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.